Yeah. Uh. Can I vent? We didn't close all the back doors. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can I vent? Who that peeping through my window? Look for real. Hey, can I vent? I'm trying to feel up my briefcase. Yeah. Uh. Can I vent? They selling souls for the clickbait. Welcome to another episode of Can I Vent? I am your girl, Vior Truth, and this is just not a regular episode. Mm-mm. This is big. It's pretty big. This is episode. It might be big for you, but it's big it for does. us. That's what she said. Sure. This is episode <laughs> 100 for Can I Vent? So, Light. first of all, we've got Ooh, like Jesus. 100 weeks of anything. <laughs> yeah. 100 weeks of anything is Ooh, a lot. Like, yes. Right? And we count it by weeks because we wow. come here weekly. We do this every week consistently. Oh, like, Ooh, seriously. Wow. So, we are here to celebrate with y'all. Of course, happy Labor Day to y'all, too, because today is Labor Day for y'all now. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, happy 100th anniversary. And I can say anniversary, but 100th episode. episode. So, Ooh, thank y'all for being here lot. with us. No problem. I'm glad to be here. Thank y'all for inviting me. Of course. And let me just get to the introduction today. We don't have any particular special rap guests to interview. Today, (laughs) we're going to just kind of kick back. We chilling. We vibing. For our 100th episode, we decided to do it a little different talk and really just chop it up about the music game, everything that's coming with the city, the culture, and all that. So who who else could we bring besides some dope-ass guest co-host? So first, of course, I got... M Dub. You know, I'm here for the hundredth time. You know he's here. <laughs> <laughs> he he been here since episode one. Yeah, no, for sure. This is probably yeah. I think my fiftieth episode, probably a fifty mm, fifth or yeah, something yeah. like that. So we we still mm-hmm. gunning. So how you feeling today? You good though? Oh yeah, I'm good. It's cool to see a hundred episodes like from where we started to where we at now. Yeah. It's pretty dope. Gross. Like come on, yeah. It's pretty dope. And then dope. of course to my immediate right, we have our Kenfolk cousin, my broski. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. I'm getting oh money. What's up, man? <laughs> that pimp. Yo, y'all gotta understand, a hundred episodes. That's a lot. A lot of people would have quit and folded. I would have quit after probably y'all like survived. Five, <laughs> right? Y'all survived. I'm just glad to be a part of the uh, part of the company with y'all. You well, know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, man, I get people hear me up every day. Man, how I get on the show with y'all? I just be like, all right, cool. That feels good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm yeah. proud of y'all, man. Everybody, <laughs> even in front of the camera and then the people behind the camera, like. Y'all have created a platform that uh, I don't think y'all realize how big it's about to be. Mm-hmm. I feel like y'all haven't even reached y'all potential yet. Y'all are just still climbing that success ladder, and I just wish y'all nothing but more success. Thank Appreciate you. It. Appreciate it. And, of course, to uh, my far right, you were getting teary-eyed. <laughs> it was real, man. Y'all it was emotional. To our, far, <laughs> to our far right, we have a special co-host. Her name is Brittany, too, so she got to yes, be all right yeah. now. She bomb. <laughs> um, but this is the face behind Before the Clout. Yes, she is ma'am. a dope-ass blogger from originally from Louisiana, but she's a Texan right now you with us. Um, My people from the boot. Okay. Oh, you where you from? I'm, I was born in Fort Worth, raised in Arlington. Arlington. Okay. Oh, so you're from the funk, raising the egg. So how, what, what the Louisiana <laughs> coming party in? Just the people? Yeah. Okay. I'm like the only one born here. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. that's it. So that's why they moved to Fort Worth, okay. came here. That makes sense. So in your heart, you are, you might be a little bootish. It's in there a little bit. Okay. I feel I a little it. bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, we want to welcome Brittany to the show. She's Thank been God. doing an amazing job on her blog site. So we had to bring her, come through, and get some woman energy and some estrogen in here. Yeah. In case you Thank don't you. know, it's Thank before you. the clout. Before, before the clout. Because I didn't know it was a woman behind it. I walked in here and was like, it's a woman behind that? Like, <laughs> yes, that, that, that teed me up, man. She is before the clout. Man, women, y'all are just, y'all rocking right now. Thank you. Yes, sir. It's our time. Yeah, give me your flowers now. Thank you. I appreciate so, it. Thank so, you. So, you want to vent us in before we snap, get... I forgot all about that, yeah, man. Yeah, we got a hundred times. It's a hundred events. You better not forget this one. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Okay, I promise to keep it real. Yeah, I promise, I promise to, to keep, keep it real. real. To tell, them exa- tell y'all exactly yeah, how we feel. Tell exactly, exactly how we feel. feel. <laughs> we gonna tell it like it is. We gonna tell it like it is. A hundred percent. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> but a hundred motherfucking times. A hundred right. motherfucking time. <laughs> Can we vent? Can, Can we vent? Can we motherfucking Can we vent? Hey, produ- <laughs> producer, make sure just clean that right, up for us. man. Because <laughs> please tell me. Cheers to my, my boy Justin, man. Ooh. Bad 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 Bad. Make it dance a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I got to find a ticket. Mm. Mm. I seen they were sold out. Fair mm. motherfucking pill. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> All right, so uh, whew, that shit is strong. That's strong. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. That's strong. Oh, that's tequila. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's what tequila. I drink. That's tequila. Yeah. That's what I drink. But when I don't drink tequila, 
That be on. You on that be on? Just had to let y'all know. Thank you. you Thank you. Be on. So, of course, uh, if we, like I said, it's the 100th episode. So we are excited. We wanted to kind of spend today just doing more of a recap, talking about the culture, talking about kind of <clears> what we've went through in the in the episodes and different things. So we're just gonna kind of go through. And I know for you, you haven't really been a part of our uh, family before, but now you are officially Kim Folk. Thank um, you. Well, but you just are. to kind of say like, what can our event means to you? You've been here since day one, and just maybe the growth and the journey that you you've seen. Since you've been here. Oh, for me, it means loyalty. Mm. For one. <laughs> um, now, like I said, it, it's cool to be a part of something literally from birth to mm-hmm. now, to mm-hmm. 100. So um, my biggest thing has just been the connections I've been able to make. Like, And I'll be honest, and I've told Fat this a million times, I didn't think I would be this close to Fat Tim. Because to me, back in the day, he was a superstar in Dallas. Right. So right. now to know, like, now I can pick up the phone and call him, <laughs> and we can have, like, some real life conversations is, is dope. And not only just with him, but, like, with certain DJs yeah. that I've built relationships with. So that's probably been my biggest thing as far, excuse me, as, far as the growth goes. Mm-hmm. Um, being able to connect the dots more, and, yeah. you know, and be able to just be a phone call away from some people I never thought I'd be able that's to dope. chop it right. up with. So, that's dope. And then, you know, this is fun. Like, mm-hmm. doing this every week is it's fun. So yeah. that's really what's been keeping me coming Going. back. Going. Yeah. That's dope. And wanting to do more, of course. Yeah. So, which we going to do. So of just, course. But 100, yeah, that's a lot. It is. I've been on this camera 100 times. 100, 100, 100 times. <laughs> it's crazy. That's crazy. 100 weeks, man. So for yeah. me, I would say, um, man, no, I <laughs> it's a lot. It is it's um for me it's been it was started as a mic check. Mm-hmm. Um turned into I I wanted to start a podcast for like two years. Right. I talked about it, never did it, mm-hmm. never executed, couldn't find the people. Like it's just nothing worked, no right. matter what I tried. I was like, just forget it. And then I came in at this and then he was like, What do you think about co hosting? I'm like, I've been <laughs> looking for something to do you know here. and it was um i knew for me i think for me it's been a voice or i would say my, my place right mm-hmm. because i knew that i didn't in my heart i knew i didn't want to rap anymore right um i just know that i'm a dope rapper mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but i knew in my heart that wasn't where my life was yeah right that's not what you and it's not do. really yeah. like but i knew that i could like hip-hop is always like got me in a chokehold right. and so i'm like i have to find something in the culture i have to find something that allowed me to still be a part without being a part you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, right. and so the more i did this each week it, every it built relationships like you said mm-hmm. and then it allowed me to really try to find maybe like more of my 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 purpose and passion and like building relationships and like talking to people and I mean, I've sat on the phone with some of these girls that was on the cypher, arguing, yelling, <laughs> screaming, crying. They done been to my house. You know, just building real solid friendships, friendships yeah. and sisterhoods that I felt like, like maybe this is more aligned with what God had for me right. than what I right. originally thought just the bars was going to do. You right. know what I'm saying? So for me, that's what this show has been, for sure. Oh, Man. For sure, for sure. Ah, uh, for me... <clears throat> Um, a lot of people don't, didn't know I had a podcast with me and Kiki J. It was called Getting the Game, and mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. And the one thing that hurt the most is when we kind of put it on pause. And I talk to Kiki J. every week, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's like That's like a real sister to yeah. me. But Shout out to Kiki J. I she needed, too, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I needed something until I didn't have it no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the first time I came on the show as a guest, eh, it was cool, you know, because I, you know, I do the podcast. But when, uh, you know, when bro called me to come back and then, Y'all start inviting me on the regular. Y'all don't understand how therapeutic that is because as an artist, you got expectations of dropping music. As a father, you got to be a father to your kids. Stuff going on at the house. And then it's just, when I get here, I get to just get to unwind. Mm-hmm. When I first got on here, I stayed on my phone the whole time because I was so used to like controlling everything. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if y'all know the last few episodes, I don't be on my phone no more because right. now it's like my safe space, you know, when mm-hmm. I come. Uh, keep it just a transparent moment, man. Like, I was still grieving uh, when you hit me to come, mm-hmm. you know, because I was just thinking about my daddy, like, man, I, don't, I ain't ready to be in front of the camera. I was looking a certain way, and then you was like, man, I need you on the show. Can you do it? I was like, yeah, I'm going to come. And then after uh, that episode was over with, I got in the car and I broke down because it was like I needed that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, that was a uh, a blessing. And it, I felt like it was God's way of saying, like, bro, you got a time for you to get off your ass, man. Like, 
get back to doing what you're doing. So for me, um, I just enjoy being a part of this. Uh, I may not be like the every week, you know, sitting with y'all, but when I'm here, I feel the love. Even when I'm not here, man, people still reach out to me. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. And to see where it started from to now, it's, it's amazing, man, because the guests get bigger and bigger, crazier. <laughs> um, it's guests I never thought y'all would have on her. Mm-hmm. Like when I seen me, CJ on me, her, y'all me, had yeah. uh, Rain. Uh, y'all done had Yella, uh, the truck guru on here. It's just like, I had the road. Yeah, yeah, the road. It's like, there's so many people y'all done had come on here, and I just can't wait to see what the next 100 episodes look like for y'all. Man, I mean, for us. I'm going to say y'all for us. Yeah. And um, I just wish all y'all just keep pushing, just pushing the culture. Um, don't be scared to bring crazy guests on here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a lot going on around the world, man. Y'all can bring <laughs> all kind of crazy people up here, but just keep going. So cheers to y'all. Thank What's you. Up? Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate yeah. it. Uh, where y'all want me to come from? <laughs> <laughs> just from maybe, or maybe from the outside. I, yeah. From the outside, um, just, looking in and just blog, like when blog, you started yeah, following yeah. us and maybe knowing a little bit more about us and how you find us. Per se, I can't remember when I started following you guys, but I know I started watching y'all's interviews before I followed y'all because I like the context. I like mm. how y'all carried y'all interviews. I like how y'all weren't biased. Mm. I like how y'all kept it going regardless of what they wanted to talk about or not because it can be really hard trying to get artists up here to talk about what we all want to talk about right. excluded mm-hmm. from what they're going through in life. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it was a big, um, how do I say, it was a big influence for me to keep pushing because a lot of people be, a lot of people will say like start your interviews, start sitting here, but it start, it keeps like I don't know how to explain it, but watching you guys is like, don't be, like how, you, how yeah. he just said, don't be afraid to invite the craziest people up here mm-hmm. because for me, oftentimes I always think about what they'll get up here and talk about, how they'll be too cool to sit in front of the camera. Mm. But you guys definitely gave me a push. It was like, y'all can get the hardest guy in Fort Worth to come up here and talk <laughs> and sit down. I was like, man, that gave me the biggest push I ever needed. Oh. I swear. I would have oh, never thought so. CJ Casino was sitting <laughs> talk down on a yeah. on a interview. I was like, oh yeah, that definitely gave that me a big push. Comes, I was like, yeah. So every even <laughs> Pink Pressure, I think Pink Pressure yeah. was one of the top three videos I seen for first and foremost. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I love that because I know Pink Pressure has a story behind her mm-hmm. to why she acts the way she acts right. and why mm-hmm. she responds the way she does to her. I'm like, it doesn't matter if that um, interview was two hours because they'll say a person will watch an interview for 10 minutes nowadays and change it. Right. I watch that whole interview sitting right. down, how I am sitting down now wow. because it's yeah. like, I want to get to know people and I feel like y'all get to that. You know, beyond what social media brings that's to a person. That's inspiring. That's Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I know, man. That's how we've been the goal. I told you, y'all we, open doors for people that everybody not gonna be unfamiliar with. You know, like right. like she said, man. Uh, FBG murder. Oh, he oh, the sweetest. Nah, he was cool. Yeah. I would have never cool. thought he was That's like my heart. Cool. Like, he's I like, never like, thought he was like, super cool. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, like when I seen he was on the show, I'm like, what? Like, and the crazy man. part is his manager reached out, Chris. Shout out to Chris, oh, wow. and he was like, he he said that was like the most comfortable he's ever felt in an interview. He was like, thank y'all. He was like for treating him like y'all did. And you know, people get perception yeah. is everything, especially with me being older. When I uh, as a fan of his music. He don't give off like interview vibes. Same thing with CJ. Mm-hmm. And then when you see him on here and comfortable, it's like that. Y'all giving people their safe space, man. Yeah. So That's just keep good. going. Just figure out ways to evolve. And yeah. Then, on 200th episode, we'll see what we're saying. Because that's, I'm, that's I'm, always I'm speaking it. We're going to be on like, G Unit Studios. Just keep nah, pushing that, the culture. Keep that's pushing always the goal to make everybody comfortable. Yeah. They want you to be yeah. comfortable when you come up here and sure. you know, talk like we just, like we talk every day. Yeah. You've been yeah. up here. So, that's, so no, that's it's the my thing. first time. Yeah. So, yeah. And, I think, and I think it's coming too when I think about what we do and all of our personalities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. I think when you the one thing I got from Fair, uh, not Fair Con, from uh, Brother Ben. Brother yeah. Even we had, so we had Brother Ben, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we just knew like it was like, do we hide the <laughs> we liquor? Do we, <laughs> do we <laughs> switch the like? We was so nervous. scared. We was like, uh, he was so cool. He was like sexy red. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, oh. so <laughs> one thing I took from his interview, uh, if I didn't remember anything else, was when he said I asked him how. Um, does people always use um, the Nation of Islam for security a lot of times um, for a lot of prestige people and they don't have weapons and he's like because we lead with love and mm-hmm. I was like it's just crazy even with the cipher it, when you when people can feel your genuineness Facts. or they can feel that you're not coming from a mean messy place right. and they're and you're not trying to get them up here to to fuck them over in an yeah. interview yeah. and to make I them become viral to yeah. do some crazy shit i think they naturally adapt 
to your right. energy yeah. and your vibe. And one yeah. thing about Dub, for sure, and I think for me, is that if we come from, we don't come from an ugly place. And I always ask people, what don't you want to say? Mm -hmm. What don't you want to go to? Because I'm, I'm not that person to keep pressing the issue. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you're not comfortable talking about what, even when Yellow is here, I'm like, what do you not want to? He's like, man, talk about you. I already know what y'all want to talk I mean, it is what it is, you know? So I just think that's a huge part of when I see other podcasts. I think it's like some people do things to go viral. Right. Nah, and they start sure. conversations yeah. that are more, a little Asking bit more ugly questions. to me. Or yeah. ask in an ugly way. Yeah. That makes you have to respond a certain way, you know? So for me, I think that's a huge piece of why we are becoming more popular and being successful with it's the genuine. genuine. No, it's for genuine. Sure. For sure. We ain't going nowhere. So no. We get used to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, and then too, of course, shout out to the man behind the camera that gives us the biggest headache. He was waiting. He was um, like, so oh, yeah, nobody going to say my for his moment. <laughs> I'm going to give him his flowers. But nah, nah, honestly, Al, I appreciate you, bro, because I really didn't think I would be able to do a podcast. I'm always the low key, behind the scenes, chill. But he gave me the confidence to be like, yeah. nah, you really, I think you could do this. And yeah, and you here do it I am. Well. So, yes. shout out to to you. Um, as much For as we sure. bump heads, yeah. but <laughs> it's a it's a good bump. If y'all can see right. our group chat, yeah. baby, we be on ass. We, we be going ass. back and forth. We be going back and forth. Baby, but we be on ass. It's all because we want to win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when people so, want better yeah. for you too, man, yeah. it's passion. It's accountability. Each other. Cheers to you too. So yeah. So. Shout Cheers out to you, Al. Shout out to you, Janae. Shout out to Alex. Alex you're not here. Yeah, everybody. So everybody. And for seeing the vision. Yeah. You know, so it's hard Starts to be a visionary, mm -hmm. um, especially in a time where everybody wants to be in front of the camera. So when you have somebody that wants to do a show and produce it and never wants, no matter how many times we switch people up here yeah. or whatever it is, he's never said, well, I'll, I'll just let me get on the camera. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like even if when we get bigger and bigger and bigger, it's still like, no, nah, we you know, just find somebody different or whatever, you know. But he hasn't tried to put himself as the as the face. Right. It's more right. like, no, I just let's just keep pushing the vision. Let's keep pushing yeah. the goal right. and keep the main thing the main thing. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I appreciate the accountability, even though it gets annoying at times. <laughs> right. uh, and you know what I'm saying? But that's what... Like accountability is though yeah, you know what i'm saying it do. is because if it was up to us you know what i'm saying like you said i would have probably stopped and had episode 50 then 50, so, nah, 54 look. i've been uh, two months yeah. later i would have tapped out yeah, like, 20. Yeah. I i'm busy i'm tired <laughs> traffic the rain you know and it's yeah, like now it's it. like rain sleet or snow we pulling up oh, and nah, it's like that comes with accountability and knowing that you have other people depending on you to be here yeah. you know and so i, I appreciate it and I'm, I'm really finding my my, my love for it it's more the one part of the week we can turn the weekend yeah wednesday is like my day it is it is. And my daughter hates it. She's like, it's Wednesday. Do I have to go to a babysitter? <laughs> yeah, right, right, exactly. And shout out to your daughter, man, because when I, when I had spoke to her, I was like, hey, baby girl. And she showed me. When I seen them nails, I said, this is a diva. This is your daughter. <laughs> this is your daughter. All right, we're going to start with. got the ridge. We're going to start with the guests. We're going to start with Miss yeah, B yeah, over here. Right, we can live before the And you just read start. the question out loud, and then we'll just kind of chime in if whoever wants to answer. Oh, Lord. It's a lot. No. <laughs> when What's is it? the last wedding you attended? Are people getting married or are gender reveals taking over? Mm -hmm. I have never been to a wedding before. Really? I'm yeah. like, wow, people are not never. getting married anymore. Not even been but, in a wedding? Oh my God, I, I haven't been to a wedding been, before. Been about five weddings. Are people getting married or gender <laughs> reveals real? taking over? What do y'all mean by gender reveal? Like, is a, is a new wedding a like gender when reveal? They, <laughs> when they announcing, you know, like people are having more babies girl. than marriages. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I've never been to it. I've been to a billion baby showers. Yeah, so oh, yeah, yeah. but no, but gender, no reveal? gender reveals, no, because they usually right. tell me first. Okay, like, okay. okay. I got you. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you... weddings, I'm 25. All right, so, so next gender reveal, I get, I got to hit you up. So you <laughs> please, gonna... please invite yeah. me like every damn week. So she can see how. To... Yeah, <laughs> but you never been to no wedding. No, no, wedding, no huh? nobody's yeah. getting married anymore. So damn. I haven't crazy. been to a wedding. Okay, so I had my cousin. I went. I probably been about six or seven years without going to a wedding. Mm -hmm. Then I went to one last year. My cousin got married, and then. Uh, one of my homegirls, Tammy, is getting married in October. Um, yes. But I've never been in a wedding. Never, no. So never none of my immediate friends or sisters have gotten married. Yeah. Damn. So See, is, yeah. is marriage over with now? I don't know, but I'm starting to feel like, do I do I choose to be the the embarrassed <laughs> wife? Yeah. Or the um, happy <laughs> single woman? Not until we do our TV show. I'm starting to believe that right, there's right, only right. two options out here. I there my, literally. I do, I, do I be the embarrassed oh happy God. wife or do I be the <laughs> fuck you single woman? And it's like, I'm starting the, to think. The party friend. This, the older I get, I'm starting to think that this right side is <laughs> pulling Man, me. That's cool. <laughs> what about you, Doug? What last wedding you been to? Probably about two years ago, but I've been in five weddings. Okay. 
So it's like I don't know how it was. Yeah, my homeboy. Yeah, so people not getting married. That hit me up and be like, oh. Oh, I need you. That might just be uh, old shit. Uh, Groomsmen or whatever. <laughs> it's old so, yeah. So yeah, people getting it's about, engaged, but they're like not getting married. married. I've been engaged. The last time I went to a wedding, so yeah. <laughs> See, engaged. It's coming. I've been engaged twice. Okay. Goddamn. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's mar- so it's like marriage and wedding not cool no more. I don't know if it's not cool. I just think that's that not, not, not cool. That's not the goal no more. Is it the goal? It ain't the goal no more. It's not the goal. It ain't. You oh think so? The pit my wife. It's a culture. No, that's what we should have yeah. said. That this apply to black people or white people. And that's mm. sad. I ain't going to be that is race on it. That's different. Everybody. No. Even though, not, but you know you can't. But yeah, but it our should culture apply to is not. Yeah. It sucks. It, I, I think sucks. social media. I, I truly I say all the think time, social, social media. As much is, as they say social media doesn't influence anything, it definitely influences relationships. Yeah. People like, feel like, oh my God, look what I'm giving up. All these people that you yeah. can never have. Literally. So why the fuck do you even give them? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, like, I see what women, works. These people do not exist. But yeah, that's, I, mean, I don't know. I've I been just, in a lot of weddings. Have you? I went to a wedding uh, last year. Okay. It was only like 20 people there though. See, Ooh, people don't even hey, support me. Hey, don't support me. Don't support me. My woman. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you got a haircut in the middle of the goddamn mouth. That's because I'm. Because you pimp. Right. Because you got a pimp. This girl called me sassy. What does Ooh, that mean? A little what? zesty. She called me sassy. A little zesty, little Because you got your cut. Said, zesty and sassy. Because you got your cut. What did she say it to? She said, because it was a video on my wedding. I was uh, walking down the aisle and I stopped in the middle. I got a haircut in the middle of my uh, wedding. That's just some extra. It's your wedding. It's your day. But she said, it's giving. Sassy and zesty. Oh, no, nah, it's give it on my motherfucking plate. Yeah, it's like it's your day. It's, it's, like, it's, it's your day. Room, I'm gonna do what I want. But yeah. to, uh, it, what's funny is everybody that was in the wedding, you know what I'm saying? They, we all the same age. A lot of them ain't married. It's only like two people that was married, but they had courthouse weddings. Yeah. Mm. So, like, I don't know, married, it ain't it ain't the goal no more. When I was a kid, mm. girls used to be like, when I get married, yep. I'm gonna have this right. and that. And then, you know, it ain't like that no more. So, yeah. Mm. Ooh, oh. Who's next? That sucks. <laughs> I just got depressed. <laughs> like we still ain't pick sat a, down. We still ain't sat down to do our TV show. Man. I want to just I'm be the executive man. producer. Uh, you going to find her, man? I, she need a white man. Find love. Stop. Bior finds love. Bior needs a white man. I promise you, a white man is what she needs. Yeah. T.T. Well, T- T- need love, too. T.T. need love. I'm not calling her T.T. When I heard old boy say that, that's what it stuck with me. When I said at the concert, he was like, what's up, T.T.? Yeah, he did. said, don't call me no goddamn T.T. no more. And he called me Unk in the DM. Um, <laughs> what city or region is up next on the wave of hip hop? Mm. Oh, wow. I almost feel like every I region don't had a no. Memphis was hard. Memphis, almost. I think Memphis is done. Memphis I had their wave. Feel like it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it not Atlanta. It's not New York. Mm-mm. It's not L.A. Mm-mm. I don't think it's a city no more. I Nobody think it's not a city. Uh, yeah. Nobody I mean, ain't up. I next. think music is dying. I think rap game is dying. Rap music. Ga- yeah, yeah, not rap. Yeah, yeah. just rap rapping. Just I rap. think rap is dying. I think right now what artists need to do is go back to the studio, go back with the producers and the writers and the engineers and, and, and people who have made hits. And y'all need to get with them and start make records. Because when you start looking at the chart, hip hop charts right now, we're looking bad right now. Everybody that's yeah. on tour right now, the albums flop. Yep. Mm. So when you really think about yeah. hip hop this year, it's only been really one record that stayed on the Kendrick. charts, and that was Kendrick. Kendrick. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because he went. That's because he went at the. Uh, that's because he went at the goat. You know what yeah. I'm saying for right now. Yeah. So my, I'm, I'm yeah. looking at all these cameras. I'm telling y'all, if you a rapper, go back to the studio. Yeah. Take your time drum, before you drop. Quit stop dropping. Stop dropping every week. Putting out. You know what I'm saying. The first thing come to your mind. Get y'all a team of writers. Hmm. Producers, engineers, other rappers, and y'all sit down collectively and come up with the hits, just like Motown right. used to do. Yeah, it's the reason why Motown had all the hits. Yeah, they ran it like GM, yeah, like a factory plant. <laughs> Not that's, for real. That's, they really that's, did. Music yeah. has to go back to that. Yeah, it's cool. Right you come it's... up with a little viral song. That's cool, but mm. what's gonna make somebody go buy your album? A lot of these, a lot of, y'all haven't paid attention. A lot of these uh, concerts, they uh they canceling the them. dates. Yeah, because yeah. why would yeah. they want to go see something they can hear every day on the radio? Yep. So I, I ain't not, I'm not hating on nobody. I, that's for every city. Yeah. Go back literally. to the drawing board. I ain't, I'm included in there too. Yeah. I ain't dropping no music for, for what? Nobody listening. Ain't nobody gonna listen to because everybody rap now. Yep. Yeah. If everybody rap, who gonna listen? So I, said, I think <laughs> social media has literally <laughs> oversaturated just me, the, the the rap. We made because everybody can't sing. Now you know if you can't sing, so it's yeah, like singing is easy. harder. <laughs> right. But right. if you rap, it's like all I gotta do is put the words together. And just rhyme them and put them on the beat and then drop a video. Social, social media makes people celebrities too quick. Yep. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like, it, you need to go back in the day when it was mystique with artists. You dig what I'm saying? Like, mm. right. Tyrese said this the other day, man. It was just like, man, like, we don't even know what Sade is doing. You know, because she don't got social media. Mm. Yeah, you yeah. dig Jay-Z. We don't know what he's doing. He don't post. No. Damn. That's what made Beyonce who she is. is I think we don't it's really because they already about made it, though. Right. Like, how do you, how do you, how do you become successful in a world full of, that's driven by social media? The weekend. You look at somebody like him. Look at four backs. We didn't know nothing about him. He blew up. And he popped Yo. out of nowhere. Yeah. So you got to stand. You don't have to be on social media. You could just, you could have the right team and play like you're independent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and you blow the, up. Like, yeah. let's, let's yeah. keep it a buck. You know, yeah. you, mm-hmm. a lot of these people say they're independent. They, they came out of nowhere. They got the right team around them to make it look like that. Right. That's the gift. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, so, I, but that's how I feel. Rap game, I ain't gonna say, it's, I don't want to disrespect nobody say it's trash. It's not trash. It's just that people got to go back to making these hit records. So, Brittany, what do you think? Being a, being a blogger and staying really, I know that you're really locked in to the, mm-hmm. to the music and you do it all day. What, what do all you day. think is next? <laughs> exactly what he said. To be honest, the music art is nothing of substance in the map at all. Like, while we were just listening to the Kendrick Lamar one, it's like, you can relate to it. Mm. Like, I like the new Dallas because it's like, it's get money. It make you want to, it motivates you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm. as long as we keep the, I'm all about the positive narrative. So as long as we keep making people want more, that's what I'm with. But okay. as, as far as the diss songs and keeping them going, it's like, that's bringing us back. But as long as we get on the stage of let's get money, let's make more, let's do more, mm. that's when we'll actually get there. Hmm. I like that. That makes sense. I like that perspective. Want to chime in? No. Nah, I mean, they pretty much That's pretty up. much that. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I always say there's so many rappers now that sound alike. Oh, and it's like man. if you sound like another rapper, I don't really want to listen to you. So y'all got to start like, calling them out. You know what I'm saying? Like As a blogger, y'all, I'm going to tell you this. This, this <laughs> an old nigga speaking. Be hard, I know. It's, it's an old nigga speaking. I feel like as fans of music, hip-hop, mm. and bloggers, y'all got to start calling niggas out saying you sound like the last person. Mm. Like, come on, bro, this ain't it. Terry Blue is like one thing when I talk to Terry Blue, mm. Terry Blue said he won't even set money for people, bro, because if, if it's trash, it's trash. Yeah, he we have to start saying, like, nah, bro, that sound like Young Boy. Nah, bro, that sound yeah. like Gates. I heard mm. a song today my son was listening to on TikTok, and I said, oh, that must be YNW Melody. He's like, oh, no, it's such and such. Mm. I'm like, hmm, another duplicate. Yeah. Right. When Designer came out and nobody said nothing, I knew the game was over with. Mm. Mm. Oh, we damn. accepted that future clone and didn't say nothing. Yeah, he definitely future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying like y'all, y'all as fans of hip hop and the yeah. culture. If y'all don't want it to go to another race, mm. yeah. to another culture, y'all better like start standing up to do so. Yeah, because we the only ones losing right now. Yeah, mm. but the, people gonna do what it what works. Like how yeah. we was just talking about relationships. It's mm. the same as rap. They are gonna do what works. So if this flow is working, just like we was talking about the um boss man D Lo beat, yeah. he making it. So everybody like I gotta get a boss man D Lo beat because mm-hmm. this is what people want to hear. Mm-hmm. So they gonna like keep it. going with it, keep going with it, keep going with it because this is what works it's right what now. Works. It's not. It doesn't make it right, but it's mm-hmm. what works. But is it wrong to sound different yeah. from everybody else? It's not wrong it's to make it. Yeah, but that, it's, like, it's, it's like reinventing the wheel, though. It's like, shit, if everybody's going left, I mean, I could go right. But you know how hard it is to go against force? True. Like, in real life, like without a budget? You got to be strong to go against the grain. You like most female artists. And look how I far I went. Rap and, but yeah. still, but I'd rather listen That's to you deep. than... Yeah, but you, but, but you, you gotta, you gotta, but you gotta find me first, right? But Bill, can I be real? You gotta find me. You can't, I'm gonna be real. Sometimes you just come out in the wrong era. Mm-hmm. Because you yeah, gotta understand, yeah, yeah. Bill. Can mm-hmm. you imagine if like the songs that I know you for, if you'd have dropped them now in this in this viral area, it'd have been it, area, it'd have been totally right. different. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think nothing's wrong with your music. I I, this is hip hop was really hip hop was really birthed on. You couldn't copy my style. That's what y'all yeah. say. Stop right. trying to copy my style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now it's like. You got a podcast? I'm gonna have my podcast just like Can I Vent. Yeah, yeah. They do it. it I'm gonna do it too. Yeah, come on. And then I'm gonna call man. all the people that they interview. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Finna go there, girl. Come on. Oh, I knew you was finna go there. Dude, take, I already take, take knew. Take a step further. I knew she was finna what? go there. I'm not even gonna wait. I'm gonna just call say, I hate, I hate when they do this. Right is he the next? Uh, is he the next uh, 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 Mo Three or is he the next Kevin Gates? Oh no. yeah, put him in that category. Yeah, cause I, that's one thing. I don't want to say the blog name, but I hate it when they did my little dude, Baby Youngin, like this. They was like, is he the next Kevin Gates? I'm like, why y'all, why, why say why that? Why even put yeah, me in that kind of dim him down a little bit? Like, like baby, you got his own swag. Why y'all call him the why next Kevin Gates? Why can't just be himself? Yeah. 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 That's true. That's, that's true. true. That's true. I can come blog with you for a week. Come on, man. You know you we doing life. this before they the might, clock. They man. might get me. They might get, get me banned if I get to talk like an old nigga. 
Uh, they gonna say, uh, shut the fuck up. Look, you being too honest. Shut your old ass up. Now you ain't that old. They ain't calling you school yet, so you all right. They start calling you school. I still fight hard, nigga. That's all that matters. All right, here we go. Charles the White, yellow interview. What are your thoughts, and is this a step in the right direction with people having open dialogue? Did y'all yeah. see oh, it? I just, I watch it? I just okay. watched it today at the okay. barbershop. Did you I just watch, watch it? it? I watched it yesterday. So everybody watched it? I just watched it yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I just watched it All right, so I'm going to say my opinion. I'm going to just put it all the way out there. I love when people with difference of opinions can sit down and talk and disagree. Yep. Mm. I'm yeah. praying on the day <laughs> when we can get like a security guard, a couple of security guards in the room, and people from this uh, group and people from this group can get together and whatever disagreements they got, they squash it right there yeah. Yeah. on whatever mm -hmm. platform. Maybe like Can I Vink. You know, mm -hmm. that would be dope if Can I Vink had we the pass. different groups, yeah. you know what I'm saying, together. Has, it has some people here to uh, <laughs> to keep it safe. Yeah. And then we just moderate it, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you know why? A lot of arguments can be nipped in the bud with the right conversation. Man, right. And we can get money. Because I'm going to be real with y'all. When I seen the interview, I laughed so hard because I remember when, uh, you know, when Charleston used to go at Trap and yell him. That's why he called him up. Yeah, but for yo. him to sit there and admit he was wrong. Hey, he was wrong, yeah. yeah. And they have a different perspective. And even Yellow, Yellow just be laughing at it, and Yellow ain't dodging the questions. Right. Like, I got a, uh, I got a lot of partners um, that have, like, negative things to say about Yellow. And I'm just one of the people, I get offended. I'm like, bro, like, the, the man is literally putting on for the city, bro. And y'all hate them because y'all ride with, with, you know what I'm saying, with, with three. I'm like, what if we were just to sit down with the people that got a problem, just nip it in the bud? Yeah, right. man. Cause it ain't beef. It ain't, it, a lot of times it don't be beef. It just be like hate. Yeah. On both sides. Yeah. And he, they said it on there. It's usually the wrong people in your ear or the wrong it's people literally. in your corner. That's, it's never the two main yeah, people that matter. It's somebody yeah. else. Like, ooh, it's, you it's know always, this, you know that. It's always somebody else. I thought it was really Instagram. good. You liked it too? I, I did. I actually liked the I, interview. Um, yeah. I talked to D today um, about the interview about two hours. Like, I I really liked it. Um, I was glad to see it. I mean, I, I just like, like you said, I like to see dialogue with people that are not supposed to be talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, people that, and as long as they don't talk, and remember when you was in school and you had, you, you the boy was cheating and he never wanted the girls to ever see each other. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's, <laughs> fuck, it's I just get these two motherfuckers together, it's a wrap because they're going to start comparing stories like, oh, so you the problem, right? <laughs> and it's like, it's one of those situations where I feel like if you, if you, when you get two people in the room, finally without the entourage, without mm -hmm. the people in their ears, yes, and it's like, so, so what was the problem again? And mm -hmm. half the time they never fucking know. Like, it's never a real exactly. answer. It's like, so you don't know why you don't like it. Well, I mean, well, you know, somebody said, it's yeah. like, nah, so it really don't really be and real. He said, yeah. He said, so yeah. I just, but a lot of the stuff he was saying about about um, three and about the whole narrative of like the ego and all that. And I never felt like Yella was, um, was jealous of his music. I think, and I mean, that Motri was jealous of uh, Yella's music. I think anybody that is in a career path that is trying to get to the top, if someone goes before them, mm -hmm. it's gonna create natural. And I'm not even gonna lie. Like when I would see like Erica Banks or when I was like trying, I'm like, man, I, I killed them hoes on the track. Like it's natural. Now everybody don't vocalize it. Yeah. Everybody doesn't speak on it and start trolling or doing things. But everybody feels a little piece of God damn. I wish that was me. Yeah. Damn, why he mm -hmm. get the deal first? Damn, why he shine? Well, man, I ain't supposed to be me on that motherfucking chart. Everybody feels that. And I don't care what no rapper say, you're not gonna want nobody, to, especially from the same town or city, you be like, man, that nigga ain't even, man, my whole city behind me, they ain't even behind this nigga, whatever the case may be. Right. So I do think there was a little, you know what I'm saying, maybe some slight feelings you of, you know. Jealousy or more of like a motivation? Like It's more only motivation if you use it to go harder. It's jealousy okay. if you start speaking on it. Gotcha. gotcha. If you try to convey That's people right. to not like me, mm -hmm. or if you try to defame my name or character, then it becomes hate and jealousy. Hate and jealousy. But if it's just quiet motivation and you use me as inspo, that's different. Fate. You know what For I'm saying? Sure. But I'm not saying that was what Mo3 did because I truly don't know. I've never talked to him about it before. Right. But I'm just saying it does, is a such thing. And what, the, what Charleston White was saying could be very, very true. You know what I'm saying? As far as a little bit of uh, fuel. Listen, that if, he G, if, G, if Jeezy and Gucci could, sit, could, could do business, man, yeah. anybody yeah. could do anybody a business, man. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't even, and, and, and I'm going to be real with you. It ain't my business. And I know things behind the scenes, but in a perfect world, if if Elijah like not Elijah, look, look, forgive me, uh, Farrakhan, he could get them artists in the room and get them a squash it. Mm -hmm. Jay Prince used to be able to get people in the room and squash it. They don't even respect his ass because I, I can't say that they still do. No, these young kids not scared of him. Not scared. I ain't gonna say scared. 
Jay Prince's name does not hold the way it used to. Yeah. Oh, I, I think we can. I think we can safely say that. I don't agree with that. These have you seen how they talk to him? That's the end. Of, that's the yeah. internet. No, but it used to. That probably wouldn't even yeah. happen in the real world. That's ten- social media, bro. I'm not trying to. I'm not. Listen, I'm not trying to hear that. What a, what somebody yeah. say on social media don't, don't hold no. Ain't no nobody me. going to Houston checking in with him. All right. That's what I'm saying. These I'm, new young niggas ain't checking in. Man, these new niggas don't hold. They don't hold no weight in the streets, man. Like I'm not trying to hear. No, not in the streets. I'm saying like, but I'm saying is they say, well, you can't come do no tour here. You can't do. It. Jay Prince used to walk in the whole room clear. That, that, that I think that's. Man, Jay on. Prince is on, is is granddaddy level. That's OG respect. Now I'm not. Yeah. I'm not D riding. I'm just saying like people still respect him. And it, that man Wake gonna always hold hold, hold always so, hold weight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just cause they get on social media and be popping that shit, Unk don't even do that. You know what I'm saying? Like. No, 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 no. Everybody, if you an OG, you gonna always be an OG. That that's facts. Yeah. You may not be able to uh, pop your shit on Instagram. Yeah, but you can't make these young niggas do nothing. It's a difference between being an OG that can call a shot and an OG that people just respect. But if you can't yeah. tell me what to do, you're not OG. I mean, you're not. If you can't control the narrative, then you lose. You lose power. Just because you are who you are doesn't mean I'm that. Not, listen, I'm, gonna you, I'm gonna tell you like this: until somebody reaches the age of thirty. I'm not trying to hear nothing, uh, hear none of that, because you gotta understand, you 19, 20, you popping your shit, you saying all that, but make it to 30, and see if you had that same um, mentality. No, they probably a lot not of these people, make a lot of these people, 30, a lot right. of people shooting these slugs and stuff, and like these OGs who done paid away. If it wasn't been for this man, it wouldn't have been no uh, South rap music. Yeah. Period. Yeah. And just because somebody uh, run their uh, operation how they run it. And now we're saying we don't respect them? Like, man, come on, that, that's. No, I think it's just the more, in my opinion, I think it's the. Who your favorite rapper? I don't know. I don't have one. <laughs> I'm just saying, whoever y'all favorite rapper is, ask them. I mean, I don't have one no it, more. I'm just saying it But could. I'm saying, yeah, but you're talking about a different generation. I'm talking about Gen Z. You, you're talking about I'm talking about the new, generation. if you ask the FBG or a BAK, a BAK, if you ask a double O, if you're asking these new guys, right. What do you think about Jay? They're going to be like, who? Okay, First yeah. of all, the half of them don't you even can, know. But you can oh, ask oh, them, dude, yeah, who was yeah. Jesus? Uh, you can ask them who is Jesus. These they know to, Jesus. No, they don't. These niggas don't know who Jesus is. These niggas, I go to they church. They know who he is. No, I go to church every Sunday, and the and the uh, and the, uh, the amount of people that's thing. there is not there no more. Oh, yeah. When I used to go to church, we had an overflow. Before, now, yeah. nigga, the, the whole yeah. right side is empty. These, all the pastors getting cold. No, it ain't got nothing to that do with too. the pastors, man. These kids <laughs> don't believe in God no more. Respecting. These kids don't fear Jesus no more. Yeah, when I was coming yeah. up, it was like God will strike you down. We believe that, bro. These kids don't God. They're like, what, nigga? I don't believe in God. What the Cody Black say? Cody Black say, I don't even believe in Jesus. He got a Jesus piece. Come on, my life. They got the new uh, shirts that say, in, uh, in Draco, we trust. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's yeah. So that's, that's what I'm saying. You can't, you can't. Living respect, by the gun. I respect yeah. the youngest on being like independent, but it's like, it's like, to say somebody name don't still hold no weight, that's cap, bro, because y'all ain't running up on Jay. No. True. Y'all ain't, ain't running up on, on none of a bird man, none of them. What's your thoughts, B? I feel it, but at the same time, I feel like um, I feel like a lot of artists probably went through Houston or whatever J Prince comes over mm-hmm. and still made it without him. I ain't gonna say they ain't got to check in with him because I'm not familiar with the whole check in. I gotta do this. I gotta yeah. do that. Because I want to talk. But I can not agree. Him. Not not everybody know who's who J Prince is and what his value like what his value is. So it's like hey, I can still do this without him. A lot of people think I can do this without a whole bunch of people. I can do this independent. So when you bring up J Prince, it's like okay. Like who else? Like, I can do this. Yeah. Social media really helps though. I like, think respect <laughs> is dead. It, it's not even just his name. I there think you respect go. is you, dead. B O. That's that, at it. the end of the day. That's what the key is. Yeah. Respect, respect is gone. Is respect Where did he is lose gone. his respect? He I mean, been respected though. No, she talking about I'm respect is gone. Kids respect is kids They don't respect kids. Elders. Just don't respect nothing. They don't yeah. respect. You know, they don't respect like, their anything they feel like can help them. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah, yeah. They used to be like, you know, man, you know, when you you didn't do certain things in front of old people. Oh, facts. You know, smoking. yeah, certain things you put your pants up if you walk past. You know what I'm saying? There were certain things that back you, you in the day. You just did it, even if you, you didn't did agree it. with it. You just respect it, bro. That's because Big Mamas ain't here no more. Yep, that's true. Big Mamas. Big Mamas here, and we don't got them uncles to beat your ass if you got a line. They twerking now, Big Mama. Um, Big Mama uh, letting the son sorry. be the be the uh, daughter. Huh? I you did. Uh, I see you. Uh, that what it dominate. is. I don't know who would block the bowl. Who so before we you, but before we I'm move on, ball. everybody in, in agreement, y'all was cool with the interview with the yellow and Charleston, oh, like yeah. the narrative. Everybody was. Oh, we yes, we got all yeah, yeah, in. Yes. My bad. I know we we switched subjects. My bad. I'm saying a lie. I want more. I want more. I want Sean. I want Sean Cotton to like keep pushing that envelope. Yeah, for sure. Bringing people together. Why not? 
let's just skip. Let's just cut out. Let's cut the negative out of Dallas. Hmm. Anything that's negative in Dallas, let's put it to the forefront, talk it out, and move on. Absolutely, <laughs> that's all it takes. I seen um, Hood Fame yeah. Yayo posted that. Bring it forward um, together. Bring it yesterday, forward. he yep. said, "I wish we could just squash the beef and just we'll be." He about to take off. Can it happen? Yeah, yeah. Who does? Who is his beef with? That the squash could. He about to squash it out. <sighs> who knows? Mm. He about to squash it out. He he about to take off though. Yeah. I know Coon Pappy was under the comments. He was like, if you want to make it happen, we can make it happen. We're going to have to. So Why I think not? they can make it. Th- Forward really should have blew up. Yeah. Forward really should have blew up. Forward they really. So they movement, they movement changed the culture and, sh- and just in the whole industry, man. Mm. So shout out to Funky Town, man. Shout All out of to the phone, man. Cool Free Bugatti. Cool just wanted to ask for <laughs> yeah. we Stop seeing We move to this next question. Um, Actually, not you, Brittany, but. Well, Father Clout, Brittany. Brittany, this question is for you. Um, as a blogger, do you ever feel like people just don't care about the good things and only the negative things do numbers? Oh, my God, yes. I only have 20K <laughs> plus. I only have 20K followers. If somebody only, starts tomorrow. I know. Uh, I'm grateful. <laughs> Lord knows I'm so grateful. Lord, I pray about it. I'm so thankful. I literally yeah. thank God every day for where I am. Sure. But Lord knows if a platform starts tomorrow addressing all the beef, all the drama, they're going to be at 30K tomorrow while I'm mm-hmm. still at 20K just addressing the positive, just pushing the narrative that's what's supposed to be going on. Mm-hmm. I don't feel no type of way about it because it's me. It's genuine. I don't feel no type of way about it. But just knowing that this is what works is crazy to me. Mm-hmm. It's diabolical gotcha. is what they say. Mm-hmm. It's, it's crazy to me. But it is what they say as far as sex or red, any artist, what works is what works. Yeah. But I don't knock them. But it's just like I'm going to take my time. I don't care how long it takes as far as pushing the narrative mm-hmm. because that's genuinely who I am. Right. Like genuinely. How I don't, do I don't really care how long it you takes. Know, Oh, it's hard. Yeah, 21.1. <laughs> Let me add it's you. hard because I see it. <laughs> it's hard. It's not even up. hard because it's genuinely who I am, yeah, but yeah. I see it all the time. But it's just like. It's staying away from it. Hard. Is it it's, harder to stay away from it? No, it's of, easy because yeah. it's genuinely who I am, and I don't want to see it. Like, I, I see you. all the beefs you. going on. I be like, damn, I don't want to see that. But yeah. I know. In two seconds, somebody is going to be posting, oh, this is who's beefing, this is who's going to fight. They're going to drop a diss track. It's interesting, but it's just like, damn, I don't want that to be going on for real. Like when Yayo talked about Fort Worth coming together, I swear to God, I would be happy to see some shit like that happen. Like how Dallas is coming, not necessarily even coming together, but they're making something work as far as positivity. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't knock that out. How can you knock positivity? How can you you knock people wanting to get more money? Yeah. You can't. You can't can't do that Mm -hmm. at all. And if you do, you just hating. Yeah. (laughs) I'm just trying to see how many followers <laughs> most of the bloggers got. Who got he the most? He's doing the most. He's doing the most. He's pulling the knee right now. Yeah. Go ahead, so, man. Like, damn, I didn't know you, you so, only had 20,000. Uh, yeah, it take a while, but it's, it's cool. cool. It's worth it. So, it's worth it. Another question is, what got you into wanting to blog and be a blogger? Seeing the controversy. Seeing the people that have talent that's not getting covered for real because mm-hmm. they don't have the funds. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people, like somebody just hit me today. They was like, how much I got to pay you to post? I was like, you ain't got to pay me. You don't have to pay me to post nothing because I genuinely think you hard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want to say that se- separates me from the others because there's probably people that post stuff for free. Mm-hmm. But genuinely, it's I literally want to be the first person that want, that believes in it's you so, for real. So like I, if I hear it, it's like, oh yeah, I gotta be behind it. Ain't no way. Like you don't have mm-hmm. to pay me the money. You don't gotta pay me $10, $25. You don't have to do it because I genuinely hear it. And I want other people to hear it. Mm-hmm. So it's genuinely from my, everything is genuine from my heart of literally just want to see people prosper. Because like I said, I got a nine to five. I do this, I shoot videos. I do a lot to where it's like, mm-hmm. I'm not worried about the promo money. It's like, right. I believe in you. So right. it's like that right. pushes me more than anything. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna make the money like regardless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel. Blessings gonna come. Yeah, yeah. That's where. That's how I feel. So go, girl. Yeah, that's hey, that so good. I'm glad I met you today. Uh-huh. I did not know you was no one. Like you said, that's who before. <laughs> that's that's who before. Yeah. First the time. Yeah. Nah, that's your term. Yeah. And you young. You gotta, too? Yes, you gotta give up. We're gonna talk about Cam. <laughs> All right, football time. Is yeah. this the year Dion gets Colorado over the hump? Could Jerry Jones get your door to replace Dak in Dallas? Yep. Look, I hope yes to both. Hope is the word. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, Dad's so, gonna have to do something this year. I'm gonna be yeah. real. I would love walk light, walk light, be my boys. <laughs> I would love to see Dion give it to the to the you know what I'm saying give it to college football. They in the Big Twelve, and I would too. love to see Cowboys lose every game. And at the end of the season, and, we get your door. and find a way to get your door at that number one pick. We I'm can't say this because I'm gonna say this. We can't lose every game. I'll be stressed Man, every week. I, listen, I've been stressed for my whole life, bro. <laughs> Me too. I was that hard. Was last, Jerry has no intention on winning. Look, when was our last title? 95? 96. So, 96. I got okay. Cowboys tatted on me. His data stars. 
Man, yeah. I got the range on me. I'm diehard. I'm I'm so DFW, bro. Like For every sure. year, I'm always cussing everybody out in Houston. Um, when we right. lose, bro, they blow my. I got a whole group text with everybody from Houston, all the heavy hitters, mm -hmm. and everybody know me, man. They know I love the Cowboys, but I dislike that. Mm. So for me, it should do would be a blessing. That would be like when I would be like, you know what? I'm actually gonna go buy the jersey, mm -hmm. both colors. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 all yeah, my yeah. kids' jerseys and stuff, yeah. man. Shout out to Shador. He signed with Nike today. So he did. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. He got. You know, he's a, he's the highest uh, nil mm -hmm. in, in, yeah. in college football. So that probably yeah. helped made it a Shout little out higher. Shout to Dion for raising some uh, <laughs> black real. kings, man. But in all but in all fairness, I'm gonna give Dak this season. I never thought I'd say this, but for some reason, in my spirit, in my godly spirit, mm -hmm. I think Dak just might find a way to take us please. to the promised land. <laughs> please. That's that cowboy Lord spirit. Y'all feel that every time. In the day. name of Jesus. Sign this contract. <laughs> please. Dak going to find a way to get it to him. Who, please? And if he don't, Lord, please Jesus. give us Shadur. <laughs> please. I finally want a black quarterback Ooh, in Dallas. I would love to have a nigga, 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 nigga quarterback. <laughs> Last <laughs> nigga quarterback we had was Quincy, Quincy Carter. Carter. <laughs> and this nigga was on cocaine, man. Hey, he was so cool in the fan, man, though. He was cool, man. He was cool. But though. Lord knows I want, I want, Lord, listen. I want to have a Super Bowl so I can show my kids. This is what I've been talking about all these years. Right. <laughs> they Fact. laugh at me. When the, when the Cowboys game on, they just laugh at me. Man, the whole family laugh at me, man. Man, so funny. yeah, man. Hey, we, man. We, you going niggas, to I want a nigga, nigga, nigga. I, mean, nigga. <laughs> I want a nigga quarterback, man. man. I'm talking about. Please. I want a nigga quarterback, man. Yes, man. I want a nigga. So, I'm talking about flash. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Hey, you going to Dallas and Houston this year, right? Oh yeah, yeah. We got you know they here. We got sweet. Okay, well, I'm Dallas going. I gotta go too. Got I gotta go. They yeah, playing here this year. Cause Texas is good, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never thought I'd say that. No, for Texas real. Is good. They really are. They're gonna lose against us though. I don't care if we oh, got yeah. nobody. That'll be that one win. <laughs> <laughs> that must be your question. Uh, like, okay. <laughs> I don't think I want to talk about it now. You might as well. Put um, it out can there. I vent female cipher? Mm -hmm. Who went the hardest, in your opinion? <laughs> Does Dallas support Dallas? As far as I'm gonna when go it last. Comes to the bloggers. I'm gonna go when last. It comes to who else? The DJ. Right, go ahead. Me? Go ahead. Who you, what no, you we need y'all opinion. We put it on. Yeah, y'all right. go first. Oh, oh no. First. Yeah, oh, y'all no. go first. You go first. I'm keeping <laughs> real. I loved everybody, but for different reasons. Okay. I'm a producer, engineer. So when I heard uh, Molly Water, I text her, I was like, oh, that need to be a hook. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I heard it. That need to be a hook. Like, soon as she came on, I was like, oh, my God, did I not hear her voice? Yeah. I'm hearing a hook. So, like, then all of them was going in the beats. I didn't know she was doing different beats. So when I heard all of them, I like, uh, JG. Mm -hmm. First, she started she, off. And she was, she, yeah. you know, she was she come, she coming with the battle angle, dissing mm -hmm. everybody. Um, <laughs> did she? I like, to I like Nina, but, you know, um, the thing about it, the reason why I say I like everybody equally because the ones I didn't know, it made me follow them and want to want to hear mm. more music from them. Mm. Um, I don't got nothing negative to say. Mm. Nothing. Neg and usually I'd be like, uh, she was a weak link. But when I was typing one thing, I'm listening like, wait a minute, I like her too. Mm. Yeah. You know, you got your favorites before they start rapping and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, they all everybody, every last one of them was going was going in. I had my picks that I like, but I like them all, man. Yeah. Thanks. I can attest to that. That's when I made my female list. I was like, oh my God, you can't like, you can't go through all of them without like, I like something, something about everybody. It. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, but as a, yeah, as a favorite, I can't say I had at least one. I can't, I can't say at least. Anybody I verse you remember? I mean like. Oh, I'm like, always like remember something. JG because <laughs> JG, she came okay. on that her she like, oh off. yeah, all you bitches like y'all got me fucked up. Yeah. You know, and it, it caused like the controversy it was supposed to and she cleared it up. Yeah. It was like, no, it did what it was exactly what it was supposed to do. Y'all listen and y'all thought I was talking somebody, right. talking about somebody on the cypher, but right. I wasn't. Like right. we're all here for each other. This is a female cypher yeah. and we're doing this. It so it was like hers caught the attention. It's like, okay, yeah, I yeah. got to listen to this furthermore. It's yeah. like, who going to answer to this? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So it was interesting. It they was understood your assignment for sure. It's hard not to be biased at times when you got your favorites. Like, when you first, when I first seen who was on, like, Andy, uh, Cord, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Creasy, that's my sister. So it's like, I was trying my best not to make my comments be, like, just about the ones <laughs> you like. <laughs> yeah. But in actuality, it's like, when you start hearing the other ones, you're like, damn, I kind of like this one. Mm -hmm. So you did your, you really did your thing. And I, I tell you, I've been telling you that, like, you got a gift. And I'm not taking away from your rapping. I'm just saying, like, you have a gift, and you really brought them girls together. Egos aside, you brought them girls together, and they really need to like give you your flowers. Cause now, I don't think you understand. You, you got a job now. You got to keep the, you got to keep it going. Mm. 
You got to put them in the studio to do songs. Mm. You got to like go find other female rappers. You got to find the ones that we don't know about and keep bringing it to the forefront. Like that's your job now. Mm. You you know, I'm respectfully, and I, I know how people get in their feelings, you and then Puka Leroy. Mm -hmm. So I keep it a buck. You and Puka Leroy are the only ones that I ever seen let them, let the women, not the girls, but let the women, the ladies of the DFW get off and do their thing. Like, that was the first time yeah. in a long time. People have been telling me, hey, we got to find the next female. We gotta yeah, got to find the next female. I'm like, yeah, yeah. that cypher, y'all better scroll through it because yeah, there's one of them in there. And yeah. I've been saying that for a while. Like, for sure. It's one of them. But they just got to have that it factor. But mm -hmm. without going against the grain, they got to have that yeah. it factor yeah. for sure. For sure. Why, Why you, you look at me like that? Oh, Sam, was I, you, I, I was there with you. Yeah, Ooh, but nah, you still got to say something. Oh. You didn't say who verse you like. You going to do another one, though? I liked everybody's. Yeah. I like everybody verse. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you know, everybody favorite. Everybody verse, cause everybody was different. Nobody. Yeah, Amarillo's was, was crazy. One yeah, was, Amarillo's one hard. The ones that stood wow. out to yeah. me was T, I like her. Molly. T from Texas. Amarillo. Texas. I like her from oh Texas. I like her. They real lyricists. Kane. Kane. Like she it. she went off. Yeah. At the end. Mm. Yeah, of course, you can't Nina. See, you gotta yeah. say all of them. Like, I like all of them, but like those were the ones that to me stood out. Yeah. And which and when you had the idea and you put it all together and you told me who you were getting involved in my mind I already knew who was going yeah, to stand deliver, out yeah. Yeah. how did y'all figure, figure out the order can I ask how did y'all figure out the order of them um, I did the order based off of one beat selection obviously mm -hmm. they had three beats to choose from so most people went on the jump off beat which I figured they would the harder girls went off the jump off beat the yeah. more sensual sexual mm -hmm. girls went off of the other two and mm -hmm. um, the for, for the for the first beat I went off JG's because JG was so smart. JG even changed. She had her beat chopped up. Mm. So when a beat came on on her verse, it wasn't even the whole beat. She she like made it like an intro. Oh, so where it was like when it first came on, it was dun, dun. It was like, you, I couldn't have put it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It was like, to, yeah. this is like how you got to start. The, and everybody was like, you know, so I, I didn't want to start it. <laughs> yeah, up. I didn't want to start it with it because I was like, I don't want it to be negative. But then... The more I kept listening, I was like, I mean, there's no other way because yeah. her in the middle of something would have been weird, you know, yeah, because yeah, of the way. Facts. So I was like, yeah. it just had to stay where it was because yeah. it just, nobody else went that went to that level. Yeah, um, so I'm like, I have to just put her by herself. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, I just put the talking part to kind of make it soothe it together yeah. where we like, okay, perfect we decided sure. to do the right thing for one time and hang out, you know. So, um, but for me, favorite verse, I ain't going to say favorite verse, but. Uh, I enjoyed getting to know every single girl. Um, some were harder to work with than others, but they all. <laughs> Who shot the video? V. V. She the came up. She came up. She did. She did a lot better. Yeah. She's getting better. Um, v shot the video, so I shot wanted to be an all female production. So I want to find a female videographer. Hey, and um, my only thing is, next time, can I get a cameo? I ain't nowhere. You was in the there. behind the scenes. Look, I, I love I the cameo. pool cameo. I, I love cameo. it. That's I love it. it. Yeah. Give me yeah. walking by something. Yeah. Yeah. The, the next one got to be a little more gutter. It can't be that one was like, sexy. This one, the next one got to <laughs> be like Tim's and you know what I'm saying. We got to get a little more gangster on this. I could have threw a beach ball or somebody. You could have. Because the man walking in the background was definitely on it. To the next verse. Last thing I'm gonna say is one thing I did love was like you know how like female cyphers or female rap songs drop and they say you should have had, you should have had. It was like this the first time I didn't see that. Mm. This is the first time I seen everybody be like, damn, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, this shit. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was, and it was a lot. It was only supposed to be eight. I, I mean, it was totally yeah, 16. 16. Damn. Because in my head, what I said was, I was like, okay, I'm gonna invite 18. I'm going to give them a deadline. Mm -hmm. First, I sent the invites out and I said, everybody, everybody's not gonna accept. Yeah. So I was like, from 18, I should end up with like 14. And then from the 14, I gave them a deadline that they had to have a verse submitted by July 1st. So I was like, they're not gonna all submit it by the right day. Yeah. And that's gonna eliminate, <laughs> that's gonna eliminate another yeah. four. So I was like, by the time you gotta show up and I give you a shoot date, I'm gonna end up with eight people. Yep. So I pay V for eight people. Damn, they all the day of the damn shoot is 16 people. Everybody turned their verse in on time. Every, nobody, two people declined. So it was 18 and ended up being 16. Two people declined. And um Who declined? Uh Mishan from Fort Worth and oh, Sabbath. I love her. Kiki. I Why love... Kiki declined? I, I don't know. Kiki, if you watch this, I'm on your ass. Yeah. Like that, <laughs> no. This is for the culture. Man, I hate the no. Listen, man. Too. Listen, certain things is for the culture. Kiki, you one of my favorite rappers of all time in Dallas. Yeah. So top what? five Very female rappers out this sure. city. Lyricist. Don't you do that no more. I wish you to tell me that. Y'all have y'all have y'all. I'm sorry to interrupt. Have y'all tuned into the up next though? 
The little up next show. Yeah, she was Oh, on yeah. Stage, yeah. The show that Dallas did. Yeah, I was about to say. Kiki she did killed. Hard. She I seen it. They never made she it to the crazy. final. Oh, I didn't like, oh, I did. I didn't like how, I, I didn't like, I didn't like uh, how they spin that clip. Which one? Side out of Kiki. What they do? I can't remember who it was. They were talking about how, how women are supposed to look nowadays. I just didn't like that oh, shit. That was yeah, yeah. That's that's my, yeah. I, I just didn't like that shit, bro. Yeah. Right? You don't feel like it's true, though? I don't, no, it ain't true no more. Like, you it's do not. that. Look at Lizzo. <laughs> I don't think okay. it's ever been true. I mean, I can say it's not, never been true, but yeah. I feel like that's one thing about Dallas that I don't like yeah. is that we look. have so many pretend a and R's. Opinions, man. Listen, we have so many pretend. Man, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of motherfucking opinion. Say that again. I'm just saying, I'm tired of everybody opinion and that is for words. It's like, look, no you, one's made a star, yeah, so you why ain't the fuck got no, even coming? If you ain't got no, like, no one's opinion, made a star. can we literally you know go? I mean? You ain't got no plaques on the wall. When I mean plaques, I mean, bro, like you ain't uh, responsible for no platinum records. You ain't got no Grammys, no mm-hmm. American Music Award, no Billboard shut Award. Stop, stop, stop with your opinions, man. No. Just shut it, up and play the music. Because at the end of the day, until I see, until I see a hundred superstars around Dallas. I'm not trying to hear nothing nobody got to say. No. And that's, that's, old, that's real, some OG shit. I'm going to be real. Because when I go to Atlanta, I see niggas that got Grammys in movies and yeah. or whatnot. Mm-hmm. When yeah. I think of Texas, there's only a handful of people yeah. that got Grammys and, 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 and real awards. Yeah. Stop playing, man. Y'all yeah. niggas ain't went platinum. Y'all niggas and ain't the got classic albums, man. The ones that do have the ability, like your Jay Whites, or certain people, even Lil Ronnie, the people that have, in my opinion, a real ear, a real spectrum on what industry sound is mm-hmm. and not Dallas sound, industry sound and have worked with those type of artists. Mm-hmm. I feel like no one radio personality, nobody, nobody in this city has enough um, music, musical intellect to tell somebody what a hit is yeah. and to tell somebody that they're not the right something to succeed, male right. or female. <laughs> we because haven't like even said, seen We haven't had yet. enough stars, number one, to come through Dallas. <laughs> we haven't so even if seen we it. knew the remedy, we would do it, <laughs> right? So we've had people with the right records come through and they haven't been pushed properly because they didn't play the politics game or they didn't play the money mm-hmm. game. So nobody to me, if I was looking for somebody to say, hey, what you think of this hit? I'm going to send it to Jay White. I'm going to send it to certain people that I know can make a hit. Yeah. And that know, hey, nah, that ain't really hit standard. Now it can go, but it ain't a hit. But I'm not going to trust nobody that you just because you be in a club every weekend. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. So I think you should really not detour people from their dreams and their careers because of your thought process that's so small-minded. Facts, and what My you thoughts. feel like will make it. Yes, and I'm mad that none of you bloggers really posted um, the cipher. I think that's really, really fucking in- embarrassing that yeah. you say that you're about the culture mm. and there's 16 beautiful women that deserve all their flowers mm. that have huge followings that have paid off. Nobody posted Facts. it. Before the cloud Oof. posted it, female, so two female bloggers, her and female hip-hop now, oh, yeah. out of Houston. Mm-hmm. Houston. And then Dallas is it Trill, Dallas Retro Trill. and yeah. um and Trill Talk. Retro, yeah. That's my guy. Them two. And he's from, he's from East Texas. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Dallas Trill posted it too, right? Who? Uh Trill Talk. Trill, Trill, yeah. Talk, Trill, Trill, Trill Talk. Trill, 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 Trill Talk is from Tyler, yeah. Oh, that's my yeah. dog, man. And then Dallas is it retro or Dallas, 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 Dallas Retro Retro Fit. Yeah. yeah. He posted it. But you have five, six, seven, eight bloggers that are the top bloggers in the city. These girls, now if they were fighting. When they Man. were slugging each other, when they posting. were um, talking about interviews and they talking about people selling pussy and everything else, people was posting. Facts. But when you get a, blo- a, a, a cipher with 16 of the baddest bitches in Dallas, you don't even think to share it on a story? Like, man. Come on. Like, let's be real. Like, it, hate is hate and hate is hate. And we're going to call it what it is. A lot of these niggas don't like women. And that's just my opinion. That's, that's that's I like, real I love women. women. I love real women. Life. That's horrible. I love I'm just saying. saying no, they don't, you saying. have to have a genuine dislike yeah, for a women that. for a woman. If you can't find one of their verses to post, you because right. you can't post all sixteen. You tell me out of all these sixteen people, not one of them stood out enough for you to say, you know what, it's worth the share. Even if True. money not involved, it was uh, a billion of them on that cipher no, that went hard shit because you should have. That should have been on the strength. That one thing should have been on the strength. That's where it's like, damn. You, all right. Would you rather your partner be a great listener but not give advice or be good at giving advice but not as attentive when you speak? How are you going to give advice and not listen? That's a good you question. Be, you be surprised. <laughs> you be surprised. Ooh. You be surprised. You hit it right on the head, though. How can, you, how can you give the right answer if you don't listen? You be surprised. That means you, 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 you hearing. You hearing, but you're not listening. But some people listen to respond. Ooh, a lot of women do that. Yeah, exactly. especially an argument. Yeah. Exactly, they wait yeah, for they that. Hear you. They wait, they wait for that. Hear you and yeah. listening is they two different things. Yeah, that jab. Yeah, they never do it. Wait. Oh, they not even wait. Let me wait, wait, wait till you finish. Damn, you said it. I mean, can't it's wait. Giving, they yeah. wait for your mouth to stop for five. Yeah. And it's giving. It's yeah, dope. yeah. So that that's a good one. Um, All right. Mm. 
I would rather. Uh, I, I, I like advice. I like advice. I, a listener is cool, but I don't like people that sit there and just say, mm hmm, when I'm talking. And I'm like, okay, so. <laughs> yeah, what else? <laughs> what so, what? You, I just said all that for you to say, mm hmm. So. I got a friend like that. She'd be like, damn, that's crazy. Okay, it's crazy. I know that's why I told you. you. Yeah. That's why <laughs> I, I came told to you. you. Are you now, listening? give me some feedback. <laughs> <laughs> so that's with friendships and, and listening? partnerships. I need somebody to say some shit to me. Yeah. Tell me. No, for Same. Sure. I agree. Tell I want to talk to a brick wall. Fast. What are you trying to say? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean tell me? Yeah, I, I need somebody to talk back with me, man. Yeah. Like, no, for sure. Yeah. If you put it out Third. there and you want to, yeah. somebody to communicate back with you. Listener's good too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because so you, you want somebody you to be heard. Like this all, the yeah. Well, now I'm gonna you know, think you, that shit exactly. you ain't listening at all. That shit weak. Talk to me. Exactly. <laughs> Talk to me. Like I rather you tell me if I'm right, if right I'm wrong, wrong or I'm if I'm wrong, or tell throw me. something out there that I ain't thinking about. But do you think most people ask? Do you think most people ask for advice to get the truth, or just to vent? Vent. Which sometimes it's the vent. Or, or we want y'all to tell us what we want to hear. Yeah. I, I learned that people lot, don't But really then that's why certain people are selective on who they go to when they need advice. Yeah. Right? Because they know who's going to stroke the ego yeah. and tell them yeah. what they want to hear. True. But if I come to somebody like you, I know you're going to tell me the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying that in no bad way. Tell but me I know, I'm tripping. But I know, like, if I, right, I, know if I come <laughs> to you, sure. I can call fat. I can be like, hey, this is my situation. Y'all yeah. can be like, dude, like, you're tripping. Like, yeah. Yeah. But I, and I respect that more. I need that. Yeah, I'm not good at that. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling tell you straight up. Yeah, bitch, you tripping. Because that, um, that let me know y'all care. Yeah. And y'all yeah, want to see I can't me. tell you yeah. what yeah. you need to hear right yeah. now. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm going to play devil's advocate. I need one thing, but give the opposite. I'm that nigga that don't be, I don't be, be no response. Because yeah. I don't like nobody ever saying that I was the one that told them to do that. Oh, oh damn. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Because I hate when people say, well, you don't want, no, 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 I didn't. I, I sat right you there. Advice. I just was like, okay, cool. Damn, I felt real? you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I felt you. Damn, for real. Yeah, 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 for real. Yeah, yeah for real. No, nah, it's just because I, 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 I've, um, I just remember in high school, like, the people that gave advice was considered messy. Mm, hmm. That's real. Like, just think of, if, okay, B let's just say you had a, a, a man right now, and. <laughs> And then he Cut was like, that part out no, no. <laughs> and he was like, well, fat, I was just talking to Fat the other day. He told me this, this, this. And that's and how most women talk. He yeah, sees me and be like, damn, source. fam, like you said that. I'm like, me out there like that. I'd rather yeah. be like, what you want me to say? I told her to pray about yeah. it. Yeah, real talk. Yeah. Fact. Give it to yeah. God. Give it to God. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to God. <laughs> you better tell nobody but God. <laughs> okay, so that's that's really all I got. That's all my little questions. That's my ball. That's my ball. That's my ball. That's my ball. I went to Sam Houston and all East side. Okay. Oh, okay. Is you on the yeah. step team? Do I still got a step team? No, I just played basketball. Oh, okay, okay. I just played basketball. You know I know about the East. Uh, my, my brother used to stay on Sherry Street, man. Not Sherry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right, real quick. Some stories so on Sherry. For the 100th yeah, yeah, <laughs> episode, we got to play a quick little game. Uh-oh. Very quick. Uh, yeah. Okay. Which is which. We ain't played in a minute, Ooh. so we got to uh -oh. do it for this one. Real quick. Yeah. Got to have some kind of fun. Got to have a little bit of fun. It's the hundreds. We ain't played the game. Have you drank? Time. We ain't played right. It's drinking a, anything. Yeah, I got this tequila in my cup right now. Oh, you got your cup over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah she okay, been. Brie. She been. You thought she been over here side. just chilling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like, damn, Brie ain't drinking. She that. been having it on the side. But you got your cup. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna play a good game for the hundredth episode called Can I Guess? Yeah. So bring right. it for you since it's your first time playing it. Yeah. It's basically I'm gonna throw out um a, either a person, place, or a thing. Mm. I'm gonna give you three descriptions. Based on those descriptions, you figure out which one you want or what you think it is. I'm sorry. Okay. So, of course, I'll tell you if it's a person or place or whatever. Yeah. Um, if you happen to blurt out an answer before I get through it and you're wrong, since I don't know how much you got left in your cup, just take a sip of that good old okay. champagne over there. Yeah. Um, of course, everybody, you get three lifelines. I mean, not three lifelines, three guesses. And then if you need a lifeline, I will give you one. So if you need an extra clue, ask me. Don't ask the audience. They don't know what I got. Cool. Um, so everybody got a buzzer. So, and if you, you know the answer, chime in, hit the buzzer. So, let's do you, it. For one more time for the producer. Pretty. Fat. fat. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So this first one we're gonna say is a. It's not gonna say. It's a place. So the clues are: I'm located in all states and in most major cities. I entertain men, women, and children over the age of five, and I provide a fun atmosphere that includes food, music, and sometimes alcohol. What am I? And it's a place. 
Shit. It's for her to guess. Or who? No, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody can guess. Yeah, whoever chime in. Is it Chucky G? No, not Chucky. That's a good guess. Run bro. that first line back. The first one. I'm yeah. located in all states and all in states. most major cities. Most I entertain men, women, and children over the age of five, and I provide a fun Chucky atmosphere Chucky. that includes food, music, Shit, and is it Chuck E. Cheese? I'm the alcohol. He said, no. you said Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese Chuck. got alcohol? Yes, they do. Alcohol. I ain't been in a minute. That's why I'm asking. Okay. You got no kids, huh? Nah, my ne- I got nephews and guy kids. Shit. My guy kid is old, though, so. For five years old? Huh? Baby girl too old to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, Beyonce, you wouldn't know. What is Shit, it? Shit, fair. That's a good guess. Not the fair. I'm lost You can't words. take your family to it. You can take family. really anybody. Is it a stadium? It's, it's even good for older people. The Cowboy Stadium? Right, like Cowboy. Five. <laughs> Shit. What, what changes at the age for of old, From f- the age of five and up, oh, most people can go up, You lost. Five and up? I need a lifeline. I'm, I'm confused. Biggest. Five. Uh, most of us went there when we were between the ages of 12 and... 15. We went to this particular place. Skating ring. There you go. <laughs> what? I got to go to the judges on that one. They don't judge. My son was like two years old. They sell alcohol in the skating ring? I say five. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. I say five. Just because I was at the Arlington Sometime, Stadium for a long time. Some are more advanced. Audience, if y'all watching that, oh, yeah. y'all chime in on the comments. So, some are more advanced. I, I, I ain't going to lie. I got red bird skate ring. I'm, I don't know. Magic, I grew up on Magic Skate, man. We was at the lock-ins. You know what I'm talking about? I was at West Lake. Lock-ins. 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 What y'all know about lock-ins? lock-ins? You know about yeah. lock-ins? You been to a lock-in? Yeah, yeah. They had a lock-in now. It'd be Break. so many. When we get done, I'm going to tell you what a lock-in is. At the skate ring? Yeah. Yes, man. You could get to the We had them at school. That's the only lock-in I know about is a lock-in at school. Lock-in is lock-in. You get there at night. And then they stay like 10, 11 o'clock. They lock the doors. You do that until the next morning. Sleepover. Big ass sleepover. Basically. Oh, you realize so we bring those back. But you never went to sleep though. But the only reason you don't bring them back, them back. boys don't see the thing is it's too it's too dangerous nowadays. Like yeah. people don't know how to uh, uh confidence resolve. Yeah, nah, right. That, that sounds lit though. I we'll, we'll say, you know what? We'll say that when the show over with. We gonna I was gonna say that sound live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, the <laughs> next one. This is a person. Okay. So I'm an actor, songwriter, entrepreneur, and a music executive. Before becoming a worldwide superstar, I had dreams of playing in the NFL, and I founded my own record label in 2019, and the label has put out 19 solo albums and three compilation albums. Who am I? I know that one. Please. Carl Crawford. No, nah, not Crawford. That's oh, he played play baseball. But he he played play baseball, baseball, not NFL. NFL. Oh. <laughs> I'm already tipsy, son. All these folks have dreams. <laughs> Yeah, he yeah, football. Football. but I said he want he had a dream of being in the NFL. So he said 2019. Like, I don't think oh, I'm big too. and all that yeah. and shit. Wait, you want me to go through again? I don't know. Oh wait, I'm tripping. You got three guesses. Yeah, music executive. Yeah. Yeah. Who? QC? Nah, not QC. Damn, that's a good guess. Oh shit. That's a good guess. You played football. Albums. You lost me at the football. The record label has. I'm sorry. The, I founded my own record label in 2019, oh, yeah. and the label has put out 19 solo albums and three compilation albums. That's that cap though. That's really cap though. 19 albums since 19. From 2019 to no now. Yeah. That's cap though. From 2019 I feel out of to touch. Y'all had this. That's cap. Touch. The only labels that's hot is is Coach Nim Yo Gotti. Mm-hmm. You said mm-hmm. foot NFL dreams. NFL. You wanted to go to NFL. QC was big. Carl Croft was big. You said 2019. Yeah. It was when that they got the when the record label started started right and got popping. Yeah. You, but you said solo right. albums. It ain't even been that many albums that dropped. You got to think of the Solo. artists that they signed. Okay. And so how many I'm, albums they done put out. Solo. <laughs> Only other person I can say is Gucci. Nah, that's no. a good guess, but not Gucci. Nah, nah, who do you? Oh, you probably do. <laughs> who? Who? Sauce Walker? Nah, it ain't what? Sauce. No, I don't It ain't no. Sauce. You lost me at football. I give up. Yeah, I give up. You gonna take a guess or you give up? I give up. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> football, I lost Don't be me. asking your son. <laughs> you give up? I just figured somebody would get a guess. Who you say, Jamie? I don't really think my first one. Say it. Say it before I say the answer. Oh, yeah. okay. It's Rick Ross. No, I don't know him not. from being a correction. <laughs> correction. Rick Ross. No, what? he didn't start MMG in 2019. Now, MMG been around for a long time. Mick Mill signed to him. 
That's what I'm saying. When I said the solo albums, that's why I said think of the artists yeah, that he yeah. signed. But you yeah, said but, 2019. But Meat Mill signed back Hold in. Meat Mill, Wale, Gunn. That's what Google had. Oh, hey, no, hey, no, no. Hey, that's what Google had. Don't y'all play my Google. Don't y'all play my Google. Meat Mill signed like 10 years ago. You said 19 solo projects since 2019. Collectively. Between all the artists. That's cap. Again, that's what. Since 2019. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, wait till we get off the show. I, I'm not doubting you. I'm not doubting you. I'm, I'm a nerd, right, bro. When Google you said 2019, shit. that's Carl Crossing with them era. Yeah, no, I believe you. Yeah. I, I don't doubt yeah. you. Fuck Google. <laughs> and be serious. Serious. Yeah. Yeah. Alexa, if she wanted yeah, to. Sure sure All right, I got one more for y'all. Right, so, uh, I'm trying to figure out which one's going to be. Which one's going to be out of hard time? No, no, don't give us a hard because that one was hard. That, that was, was tough. Give us the one that's, that's, that's factual. Uh, okay. I can be big or small, mm. and I come in a variety of different <laughs> shapes. You know I got to throw one that's out there. What she said. A pickle. Uh, I'm used every day and at any time of the day, and you can lay, sit, stand, or sleep in my presence. Say that one more time. <laughs> I knew that was going to throw y'all off. Please. I can be big or small, and I come in a variety of different shapes. Is it TV? No. I'm saying. used every day and at any time of the day. You can lay, sit, stand, or sleep when you're in my presence. You said you can lace? Lay. Like lay down. Lay down, sit, stand, out of bed. A house. Nope, not a house. It's a thing, but it's not a house. Not neither one of those. It's in the house? Wait, it's in the house? Big or small. Is that what you said? Remote you can't lay on a remote. Well, <laughs> you, said you, you didn't say you could lay on it. You said in my presence. Lay. When you're in my presence, you can either lay down, you can sit, or you can stand. A pillow. Or Carpet. sleep. A pillow. Carpet. In my presence. Neither oh. one. What is the answer? Well, you said it. You figured it out. A futon. Not a futon. <laughs> <laughs> no, so when I'm in your presence, I can sit stand. No, it's not I a couch. I can sit stand. A blood mattress. There's no black no family can't stand. Y'all use it every day. If y'all don't use it every day, I'm going to talk couch? about y'all. A tool, a toilet. A tub. There you go. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> wait. I'm like, y'all use this every day. It don't you come in different see. sizes. Yeah, they, they do. do. They can be They, they, don't, they all come in different understand. sizes. You can. That is true. And all y'all done been probably drunk and oh sat in that tub sat and went to sleep. Tub. Either standing or sitting. <laughs> so <laughs> fat. <laughs> Exactly. Right. Damn, that, okay, that one, I, that one I actually agree with you. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all go. Yo, the worst I, one you ever did was a scissors. Shit. Damn. I never nah, it was probably one. the umbrella. No, it was Shut. scissors. It was scissors? Yes. You said, you used me for shirts? When y'all was <laughs> kids, did y'all have... <laughs> what? Uh, y'all quick. When y'all was kids and y'all stayed with like Big Mama, did y'all have to take baths with y'all cousins? Yep. Together. All three okay. of us. Nah, look. I never forget my cousin damn shit in the tub. My sisters, we definitely took We definitely took a bath together on God. My granny guy. I didn't see what y'all be losing. Go ahead, get that over with. My grandma was three put. Bath tub just be dirty. But see, my grandmother. No, we've been outside all day. I was the only boy. So she was like me doing it. No, we had the boys. I was the only boy on my dad's side of the family. So my grandmother never let me take. Damn Shreveport. Like that. Mm -hmm. I was always yeah, solo Port, dolo. Town. <laughs> Shit, for real, I'm on. Solo. Uh, uh, I mean, my cousin, we, we had to take baths together. That's when family, that's before so, yeah. like all the. Ran, she ran all one hot ass bath. That was I was going to say, that's before all the perversion and shit, but not really. Yeah, we just yeah. didn't talk about it, I guess. Not like oh, that. Oh, you don't talk about that kind of stuff in black family. <laughs> you know, keep it, what happened in my house, stay in my house. You got that right. <laughs> yeah. It better right. stay. Man, that's so, sad. Before we get up out here, Brittany, this one is for you. Um, you got? That makes you official. Which oh, official. So, Talking no about appreciation. For, for, appreciate you for pulling yes, up. Sir. So, y'all yeah, see it. We got to see it. We got to oh, see it. Yes, I love black. I, I, I put this on with anything. Yes, some ties, yeah, little, yeah. little shorts. Uh, so, so, are we selling these shirts yet? Yeah. That's, yo, that's, that's next. Yo. Just send them, send them I, I, my man, way. I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. Okay. Nah, just send them my way. No, because I'm just saying. I got you. That black and white one. I just need your ties. You lost yours too? I got you. I lost mine last time I was here. I don't know where is it. That red, the oh, one I just gave you? Or the yeah, one like two Columbia. weeks ago. When I was here two Ooh. weeks ago. We finna have black and red. It's finna be cold. We finna have Yeah, we finna get into the winter wear. Seasonal. Okay, I got you. I got you. Well, thank y'all so Not much for coming and hanging out with us on our 100th episode. Yes, we have had a great time. The liquor is... This liquor Liquoring. Liquor is it's gone. gone. Very liquoring. It's gone. I'll you a shot. We got you cupcakes did. and everything. So we're finna, <laughs> I don't think you did. We're going to celebrate. Down, I'll you one. You got a shot. Mm -hmm. You got to take one more? No. no, no this, this ain't for you. This is for the women. No, oh, yes, okay. I got to okay. gotta say this, man, because I, I hate seeing like posts on IG where they say men don't like support black women. Let me tell y'all something. 
I, I, I fuck with her on a whole nother level just because I love what she does for her for kids. But what she did for these women mm-hmm. here yes. lately, putting them in a room and making them squash all that shit. And, I'm, and I take my hat off to you. I just met you for the first time. I've been a fan of your, uh, your, uh, your blog, but I didn't even know that you was a female, a oh. black female at that. Thank you. So, man, it, I got to take a shot with y'all. Oh, yeah. We got to go and get them. Yeah, quickly, quickly. Hey, bro, yeah, ain't going to pull you. That's Dude, cool. I, no, no, ain't no cool. It's nah, just, just for the women. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing to do with it. It's not, not, nah, not always <laughs> about you. <laughs> nah, Look at that. Dang, bro. You sound like somebody uncle. Don't do me like that. You're right. Don't do me like that, though. Cheers, man. All the black women watching. Nah, shout out to y'all for real. Shout out to y'all for sure. I don't know don't be talking like this. I'm just keeping it real. Shout out to y'all for sure. Thank you. Amen. You know, I'm extra proud of you. So I'm going to take my shot in a second. Listen, all these cameras on. Everybody watching this. Y'all tell Trap Boy Freddie, man, welcome home, number one, and get in the studio with Jay White, in the studio with Jay Oliver, whoever it is, man. And I really want people to get behind him. Mm. I got, I seen somebody say something other than I got this epiphany. I really want to see Trap Boy come out and do his damn thing. Mm. And to the young artists, I salute y'all because I don't know how y'all all cool with everybody, bro, but y'all making it do what it do. Yep. So if it's a if it's a group of people y'all ain't rap with yet, rap with them. Yeah, for and sure. And bring back the R and B and rap collab. Shout too. out to Future bringing out trap and a female and, um, and map female and male rap collabs, Ooh. please. Yeah, we what, need some what, old. I want to rap with all the ja females. Ja Rule and Ashanti, Ashanti and Charlie B more. You know, what? like damn. That's what, we need. Set it up. That's what we need. That's what we need. Be set it up. female and male collabs. You need to set it up, and she need to post it. Facts. I'll post it. I don't even care. And all you young niggas, man, happen. y'all holler at your boy, man. I know I be charging, man, but I really want to, like, kill y'all and y'all songs. <laughs> I feel like I go hard yeah, on everybody. Just sell them hooks. Sell them hooks. I got the hooks. But just I, sell them the hooks. But I want to call all you young artists out, man. Like, I won't smoke with all y'all. So, like, put me on a song with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. Still, guys. 200 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2, we get to 200 all and we all that good stuff. Right. <laughs> all right, true. Thank y'all. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. Mm.